The 50-50 armbar. A killer thing to do when stuck in 50-50. It's one of my favorites. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm here today looking at the 50-50 position. The 50-50 position is really unique. You know, in no gear, ADCC rules, we can hit hill hooks and stuff. But in the gear, it can kind of be a bit boring, especially when people try to grab and they're just playing for sweeps and uh, advantages, which you can't do in competition anymore. So let's have a look at a killer technique. I love this. Guys like Keena Cornelius have caught out heaps and heaps of people in a competition, including the meows and stuff. This is a really killer uh, technique. So let's take a look. So I'm here with my partner in 50-50. How we got here? Oh my God, guys, there's a million ways, but this is what it basically looks like. Now, if we were in an ADCC type rule set, I could attack for heel hooks here, and this is a totally different story. But presuming we can't do heel hooks, okay, we've got to start having a look at what are people most likely doing. So people are most likely going to use this position to either stall, which sucks, which is okay because we can arm by them, or sweep. So they get up and they get to this kind of position. So, a lot of the time, it's gonna involve you, the guy grabbing you, okay? Now, this isn't necessary, but a lot of other stuff from 50-50 is annoying when they do this, but we can use this, okay? And this is how we're gonna do it. I'm going to grab this guy's collar, okay? And I'm gonna grab his armpit right here, okay? So I'm gonna grab right in the armpit. Don't pull their hair, guys. So, I've got him by the armpit, and I've got him by the collar. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I actually have to get this foot out. So I'm actually going to, sometimes it's a bit of a wriggle, I'm actually gonna get this foot out and put it over here, right on his other hip, okay? So this has loosened up the 50-50, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now pull his shoulder to me. So I'm gonna pull his shoulder to my belly button here, okay, like this, and now this leg comes over and I squeeze my knees together, squeeze and I have a killer armbar right here. Now, it will feel shallow. That's because it is, okay? But remember that the arm, if you're gonna break an arm, you want it right, the fulcrum, which is your hip, right near that elbow. So while it's a shallow armbar, boy, is it a tight one, okay? So if I do a deep armbar here on my partner, if I do it deep, there's actually no joint attack for ages. It's gonna get tight, but it's not till here that he tapped. Whereas if I actually loosen the arm bar off, okay, just that little bit, as long as he doesn't escape, he gets the joint locked straight away. So let's have a look at this 50-50 arm bar one more time. So I've got him in 50-50, and I can't seem to get anything. So I've got his collar in his arm. I take my foot and I put it across, and now if he stiffens all his body up, all the better. So now I'm gonna pull him to me and get my leg over his head and pinch my knees together. Now I can come off to his hand, and hit that arm, okay? So one more time at speed, the 50-50 arm bar. I've got him here, he's holding on, I pull my foot out and I pull, and I grab it, okay? And I have him right here. I personally find that this actually works better when your partner resists more, because it's easier to rotate their body into the arm bar position. But just remember, squeeze those knees, and even if it feels loose, hit it with full commitment. Okay, this is something that I like to do in 50-50, whether I'm in the gi or not, no matter what the rule set, because so many people forget about that arm, and it's a great arm bar, and it's been proven at the highest level, okay? Have fun with this 50-50 arm bar, guys. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you loved it. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. Don't forget to check out our website at thegrapplingacademy.com here. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you guys next time.